Hello everyone and welcome back into this into this engine special requested uh, video. So uh, I've I've been reviewing all of the comments lately about you know on all of my latest videos and I've seen some some actually some unique comment by Mr. Cole Eret. So he requested and I quote here: Will you will you recreate the Saab slash GM LP9 or IP9 whatever the name of it uh, 2.8 turbo V6 engine? So that's a unique engine, and yes, I like to create it. And uh, I, I asked for him to, to give me the specs, please, and he provided the specs in a generous way, actually, and that's really, really cool. So in this video, we will be seeing the Saab slash GM LP9, as I called it, or I don't know, LB9. I and I, I wrote it LB9. I think it's correct. LB9, uh, 2.8 liter turbo V6. Let me write the. Here, so this is actually a very very unique engine because it, it, it was used in some of the GM cars and of course in the subs, as uh, the sub manufacturers was it was very 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 amazing uh, brand making special cars as you have seen you know on Top Gears because Top Gear they made a lot of montages uh, you know on on the sub creations before it's really really awesome and their cars are extremely unique it's it's really sad to see them go all right. Uh, let's start with everything, but before we start with all of the specs, uh, enjoy the video, that's my number one priority. Hit that like button, get subscribed and share the video if you like this video, and of course you can watch my previous video after this one. We have made so many engines in the past, like really so many Hondas, so many Nissans, so many uh, Toyotas, so many Ford engines, Chevys, I don't know, a lot of engines. Really. All right. So let's start with this unique engine. So it's a 60 degrees V6 engine. The block is made from aluminium or aluminum, whatever you want to call it. The bore is 89 millimeters on the bore and 74.8 millimeters on the stroke, which equals a 2,792 cc engine or a 2.8 liter, you know, in general. Dual overhead camshaft with four valves per cylinder in a total of 24 valves. Aluminium cylinder heads, no VVL, and we have of course a VVT according to the specs provided by Mr. Uh, Mr. Cole. All right, we, what we have it is a forged steel crankshaft and, and heavy-duty forged connecting rods and forged pistons. As we, as as all of us know, Saab engines are really, really reliable and really built. I, I'm not to not, not to perfection, but near perfection. But they, they sometimes use special things to ruin their engine. For example, uh, a lot of the engines, uh, I, don't, I don't actually remember the model, but I saw the car on Mighty Car Mod's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, Moog, I remember he bought uh, a Saab hatchback from a dentist, and I remember the engine being, you know, uh, being, how can I say it, being bolted into the car in a unique way using a chain to transfer power into the gearbox or into. I don't know something else. So it was very, very, very crazy idea and very unique. And these unique parts and unique ideas sometimes they work brilliantly and sometimes they will they will they will be a total fail. But total fail. But as we all know, sub engines and sub cars are very, very unique. And of course, as we have seen on Top Gear, the drivers, well, sub drivers are extremely intelligent and you know very, very unique people. And that's that's why the brand sub is just. An amazing, amazing, car, amazing brand, and I, I remember, I still remember my first car when I, uh, my first sub ever that I, I, I haven't actually driven it, but I was a passenger, and I remember seeing the turbo gauge, and because I've never seen turbos before, and that was my first ever turbo cars that I that I saw in real life. It's really, really awesome. So let's continue. Enough chit chat. Let's continue. Uh, forge pistons, forge everything to make the engine extremely durable and extremely heavy duty and extremely reliable as well. Moving on, the compression ratio is 9.5 to 1, which is uh, which is actually good. It's in the normal range, but for a turbocharged engine, that's actually very good because the engine is running on EFI, as you will see later. 34 on the cam profile, variable valve timing on all on all cams, which is very very. A very amazing idea because it will uh, allow the engine to have like separate profiles on low RPM and high RPM. It will adjust the timing. It will adjust basically, you know, according to the RPM. Of course, that is an absolute amazing thing to use on a regular, regular daily driving engine. Moving on, we have a twin turbochargers, ball bearing internals, 
Well, he told me in the comment section the end, the, the real engine uses a twin screw twin turbochargers, but unfortunately we don't have this technology here, twin screw. So, yeah, we have to stick with, 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 with whatever we have here in automation game. So I'm gonna try to be as close as possible. So ball bearing, 390 horsepower intercooler, 35.5 millimeters on the bore, uh, oh, sorry, on the compressor, and 31.1 millimeters on the turbine. Maxed out AR ratio and 9.25. PSI of boost with plus 5 quality. So as you can see the turbos are a bit tiny, I'll admit that, and the, t the engine is running on 9 PSI. Of course, the these, these turbos are not the real turbos. These are like my own specs. But everything else, like the compression ratio, the count profile, everything is according to the real specs. But the turbos are all my own, you know, my own design. Moving on, we have Multi fuel injection, multi-point EFI, single throttle body, standard intake manifold, and the engine is running on premium 95 octane fuel. 13.4 is the air fuel ratio, and 67 on the ignition with, with 6400 RPM. This is the official RPM limit. Moving on, we have a short cast headers, dual exhaust pipes, because I don't actually know the model of the car that uses this engine. I haven't actually searched for it. This is like a, a normal quick video. So dual exhaust pipes. It's it may be a single on the real car, but you know, I figured dual. 2.2 inch exhaust diameter, high flow three way color converter. I don't think this is actually also correct, but I've chosen it. The reverse floor first muffler and straight through second muffler with plus five quality to keep the engine quiet because sub engines are or sub cars usually are very, very quiet. So 27 point is very, very quiet. So the final result is 250 horsepower at 6000 RPM. Well, to be honest and to be you know 100% you know honest with you guys the real engine actually uses a push is pushing 250 horsepower at uh, 5500 rpm according to the specs here let me check yes 5500 rpm and i tried that i promise you guys i tried that i tried going minus quality on the cam profile to get this amount of horsepower and at 5500 rpm but it's really impossible but the torque peak is 100 percent correct uh, 260 pound feet of torque at 4300 rpm that is perfectly correct but the power is you know it's above the peak with 500 extra rpm but still very good so as you can see the engine is super reliable uh, it's, it's fuel efficient it's uh, low on emissions it's uh, it's lightweight it's very it's very uh, well, how can i say it's very quiet it's responsive it's not really smooth but 57 for a v for a v6 that is smooth that is really smooth for a v6 remember that because v6 engines are not really smooth so i i really like this engine so much and i want to put it in a normal car and see how it will actually perform because 60 76 points will make the car that that will use this engine very very reliable in the 80s in the 80 points that is really cool as you can see there are some bugs currently in the game like the pipes are like as you can see they are overlapping or integrating together this and this pipe is i don't there's something wrong with it and this pipe also you know after, after the latest update but not bad the developers will fix it soon so let's fire this little puppy here and see how it, how this beast will perform so as you can see the engine is idling at 800 rpm which is very very reasonable and very stock and the engine is making 156 pound feet of torque at idle that is very very torquey engine all right let's see how to perform Really good, really good for a regular daily driving reliable engine. It's really really good. I like it. It's a it's a very very good normal driving uh, daily driving reliable engine. It's really good. It's a, it's really efficient and it's uh, it's really reliable. It's quiet and it's powerful. 250 horsepower for a daily driving machine. It's actually very very good for a lightweight car, and 260 horsepower can pull. 
Awesome. So uh, I hope that you like this engine. This was, you know, a little quick video. Yes, I've chit chatted a lot, you know, for a while when we start making this video. I do apologize about that, but um, I really like making this little beast here. So thank you so much, Mr. Cole Eret, for your requested engine, and thank you so much, guys, for watching. I I'm really excited to see the creations because after this video. Or maybe I'm gonna record another one. Maybe I'm gonna wait till the challenge finish, the drag racing challenge to finish, because I'm really excited to drive uh, all the other all the other viewers' creations. Because the because in the previous video we have discussed the rules of uh, the latest challenge on this channel, which is the the 2020 drag racing car challenge. So if you want to see that, you will you will find the link here. So enjoy watching it, and of course hit that like button, get subscribed, and share the video. And of course you can watch. Uh, all, all of the other creations that we have created on this channel, as, as I've mentioned, Fords, Toyotas, Chevys, everything. So thank you so much for watching, and if you want to request another engine replica or, you know, close to the real engine, I would love to hear that in the comment section or on my Discord uh, on my Discord page. You can the link in the description below if you want to visit my Discord page to request an engine or to chat with everyone over there and have fun and share your ideas of automation, of automation game or any or anything related to cars basically and of course if you want to support the channel the link also in the description below for my patreon page you can sub you can sign up to my patreon page and get ex exclusive contents and behind the scenes and of course uh, you, your name will be mentioned in every single video at the end and I want to give a special thanks to Mr. Ben Cook for supporting the channel on patreon page thank you so much Mr. Ben and uh, thank you so much guys for watching and goodbye for now my friends <laughs>